Do yeah. you uh, find it hard to talk about the Kardashians now because you feel a little bit closer to them? Yeah, I think that you know, I tell, I, I'll say this to to anybody like. If they had a relationship with them, you wouldn't fucking mm-hmm. talk about them too. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. If if they gave you exclusive interviews and were super friendly right. to you, you wouldn't you be like, had "Well, fuck a, them." Yeah, like, yeah, you don't do know. That. You have had the big three on your podcast. Yes. Yeah. The big Kim, three. Are you Chloe, Julia Fox 40. over here? <laughs> <Yeah>. Excuse me. <laughs> um, on your show. Yeah. Which was uh, all the interviews were amazing and so fun. But yes, I could. Im- I would. I'd imagine that I'd be like, "Oh, uh, I kind of." I don't really like this one thing that they did, but I'm not going to post it. I mean, the thing is, like, if it's, I'm not going to, first of all. but If it's in a joke, I feel like they can take a joke. Yeah, they can take a lot. Like, I can, I feel very comfortable talking about, like, clothing choices. First of all, the Jenners are a whole other story. I don't care. about. I can talk about that as much as I want. But, um, and I talk, I do Cards Catch Up, like a show that I got before then. And they're, like, fully talk, like, you know, I'll say pretty much anything. Um, But it's in obviously no one's trying to bash them right E isn't trying to bash them people on the internet really want to bash them and it's Mm -hmm. like what I say is this isn't the place for that you're going to find a lot of other accounts that want to do that all day but even literally objectively about Kim I wouldn't focus on her anyway right people are taking the Balenciaga thing and just want to be like well when it came to it and when it came and it's like do you care about what happened or do you care about if Kim Mm -hmm. is speaking out and And if you're going to be that big on it with celebrities or so many other celebrities I said this like Nicole Kidman had her Balenciaga spring campaign photos up on her Instagram like not taken down still posted everyone's like why aren't why isn't everyone yelling at Nicole Kidman they'll look look for anything and do you think like Kim Kardashian like supports pedophilia like that's what you literally think or like that Kylie was like was posting pictures of her kid to distract. Oh my god! Don't you love that? No, no. Don't you love the Balenciaga? Don't you love that they like, thought what? that that Kim uh, that Pete and Amrata's photo came out at the time on purpose? Yeah. Like people literally mm-hmm. think, yeah. Pete is dating Amrata yeah. for Kim yeah. <laughs> to post about Balenciaga and them to take the and I'm like oh my god so yes it is obviously it becomes harder yeah. but it's sometimes also people like, really lose common sense when it's when it's like no. common yeah. sense and, and also like it's not that complicated right and it's I like when Julia Fox said that she started dating Kanye for Kim. Like, right, no, right. No, 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 you I didn't. Was, she she had me like I was so into her yeah. from what the what's the video I love the aging one. And then with this one, I'm like, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, but you did not start dating Kanye for Kim. Like, that no. didn't happen. <laughs> and people bought it, though. Yeah, they're like, That's yes. why you guys don't understand. Like, I got my... She's a girl's girl. Yes! <laughs> like, yeah. People, but, like, no, not <laughs> really. Yeah, it's like, no, I really think she meant that. It's like, mm. have, would you do that? No, she... Yeah, look, no. What? She did it for her career. And she also yeah. said that she, Kanye wasn't that kind of guy around her. So if you're saying you only did it to help Kim but also saying Kanye wasn't that kind of guy around yeah. you and that he was a different guy around yeah. you so you did like him yeah. so it wasn't for Kim yeah very bizarre the whole thing is yeah. bizarre so I want to ask you about your podcast too because I always love like when when you do your shows kind of solo mm. I'm just like that must be so hard because I just mm. I always have Rhea to bounce off of and yeah I'm like, I'm like it's pretty impressive when you can just do it on your own yeah I actually like it less like I do like to bounce off someone yeah. more I think it's I think a lot of podcasters do solo pods um, and a lot of people like it but I I really enjoy having guests yeah like mm-hmm. because I'll tell you what my Instagram is so um, timely right. right it's like if it's not in the moment like yeah it could and be before the moment yeah. you know a day later you're like no one cares about no one cares anymore, anymore. <laughs> so my podcast imagines like you put it in and then it has to be edited so I'm going to talk in a week about something that happened last week so I feel like with the f- this industry like it can't be yeah a usual thing so I sometimes do and it's nice to like I like giving like kind of background like whenever I did a big interview it's like telling everybody kind of how it went and probably you know going against the NTAs that I signed (laughs) um but but yeah I like having guests and it's become I'm sure you guys feel this too like podcasts have become kind of a stop on like tours press tours Mm -hmm. like people like pitches have gotten so many more pitches of guests that I didn't even think of like it used to be oh if I like someone I'll ask them on the podcast if not I'll do a solo yeah yeah, and now it's like there's so much going on and so many people to talk to and people that I didn't even know but I'm like I still want to have them because they seem cool and they're doing cool things and um 
so yeah, it's become really cool because it's like I wasn't, you know, I feel like it's a yeah. skill, obviously, to talk to people and you have to like learn it and get better at it. So something I'm really proud of. What was the process of getting Kim on the show first? Because I feel like once you got one, it was like the other sisters were like, oh, we can do her show. <laughs> yeah, that's what's funny. I kept on telling, kept on telling Courtney. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, Courtney was like my my big love. Yeah. Like I was always her team before even the like most interesting to look at vibe um but kim happened first so i wouldn't ever ask them on my podcast like who would think right yeah that they yeah would come on your podcast. Like, automatic yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like who would do that it's like we don't do podcasts yeah <laughs> like no um but th- so they reached out to me which is a wild wild thing um i got an email from Hulu, like okay. into my, like I have a not scheme on yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have a contact me page, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it came through there. Yeah. And I was like, what kind is of troll? Is this no, like yeah, I was yeah. like, this is a new low to yeah. like really try to hurt me. Um, and it was basically like, hi, like writing from Hulu, um, the Kardashians is moving, to, don't know if you heard. Uh, wanted to pe- see if you're interested in having Kim Kardashian on, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> what? Like, and this I, is how they do it. Like who? And that's what's that? so wild. And then I, I, I googled the lady, yeah. found her on LinkedIn. Was like, this is fucking. I was like, getting my nails. Yeah, this and is I was a real like, person. I was like, Amy, do you care? Like, no one cares. <laughs> yeah. like, who do I tell? Um, scr- like freaked out. Um, and said like, you know, I was like. I was like, let me think about it. I was like, let me think about it. Fucking yes. Yeah, like, yeah. what? Are you kidding me? Like, died and kept on telling myself, like, this is not going to happen. Like, yeah, they reach out, but yeah. like, it probably won't. And then it happened. It was like super fucking cool. 